Hey, this is Dan from MSS Enduralis. Welcome to the channel. You don't know anything about what's coming. Hey, this is Dan from MSS Enduralis, and I've been watching a lot of videos and reading a lot of comments and emails, and it amazes me the people who say, you, you have to get an early start on bugging out uh, to get ahead of the crowds and the hordes and all that. And in my mind, the way I look at it, you're not going to get a 24-hour, 36-hour head start. No one's going to tell you that everything is falling apart. Uh, to use an economic uh, scenario, some Friday the banks will announce that they're doing a reorganization or a rescheduling and they're going to take a bank holiday but everything is fine and they won't reopen on Monday and the media and those in power will continue to tell people everything's going to be fine just like they do now just like they do every day and we will continue on with our lives as we do every day until our lives are not the same as they are every day. I believe that at most you may have 30 minutes, maybe an hour before a real SHTF is in full swing to move and to get out. Which is why I've planned to bug in. I have a fort, my fortified home, I have my preps here, I have all the things I need to take care of me and my family here. I also have a plan on bugging out, where I'm bugging out too. If it becomes so intolerable and life-threatening to be here that I absolutely have to, and that's the key. I will not move unless my children or my wife or, or our family's lives are in imminent danger. And I don't understand a lot of the you got to bug out and go into the woods mentality because that seems to me a more dangerous place to be than in your home. Um, in your home, you have familiarity. You know where everything is. You know where the security areas are. You know where the areas are that need to be watched. And if you've done your due diligence, you know your neighbors, you know who you can count on and who you can't. If you bug out into the woods, no matter where your skill set, you lose all that security. You don't know who else is in those woods, what their mindset is. Um, you actually become one of the golden horde as they're called because you've given up your home and the majority of your preps and the things that you've put away and now you will be beholden on what you can scavenge and what you can find and let's be realistic on the whole prepping premise no matter how much you prep no matter what you have set aside if everything goes completely perfectly the way you've planned it eventually you will run out of preps if there's no way to resupply them so that brings me full circle back to something I beat on all the time in my videos skills if you don't know how to grow food if you don't know how to take care of livestock, if you don't know how to do other things other than shoot, then you're going to find yourself in a world of hurt. 
because there's a hundred million people out there that know how to shoot and if you find a community they may they may not want another security guard they may need someone who can fix small engines someone who knows how to plant potatoes and how to grow things they may need someone who knows how to set up a library so the books are set up and if your only skill is security and being a warrior you may find yourself out in the cold a lot of the communities may not need that may not want that so you know I beat on skills all the time because it's very important it's something that you can't lose no matter what the marauder group is no matter what the situation if your house burns down and you lose all your preps if you have a strong skill set you will be able to find people that will need that skill set and that will help you rebuild what you've lost so this is me rambling on some more this is Dan from MSS Enduralist until next time take care of each other